And with this extreme heat, it's important to be on the lookout for signs of heat related illnesses. We continue our team coverage now with Way 31's Nicole Zedek. She joins us live to break down the difference between heat exhaustion and heat stroke and how you can prevent both of them. Well, Dan, the main thing you can do to prevent both of them is just to carry around one of these and stay hydrated by drinking water. And you know what? Sports drinks are actually even better because they have electrolytes in them. And out in this heat, you are losing a lot of salt and a lot of fluids. So by hydrating, you can actually help prevent heat exhaustion, which is usually the precursor to heat stroke. Signs of heat exhaustion include excessive sweating, clammy skin, confusion, and a weak pulse. Now, if you can hydrate, up your electrolytes, and get to a cool place, those symptoms will hopefully go away. If not, you could be susceptible to heat stroke. That's when your body pretty much has no more fluids to evaporate, and you're actually going to stop sweating. That is a dangerous sign in a heat wave because your body sweats to cool down its surface level. With no more liquids to sweat, you won't be cooling down, which could also mean you could be dangerously dehydrated. As we see these high temps over the next couple of days, it's important to be diligent starting right now because if you do get heat exhaustion just once, you're more likely to get it again. If you have heat exhaustion one day, you are going to be more likely to get heat exhaustion the subsequent days. So it's a very important to prevent the first heat exhaustion and uh, make sure you're adequately hydrated and have cool places to go. Uh, because once you have a heat illness, you're more susceptible. Dr. Stephen Wardahoff with Synergy Wellness says staying hydrated throughout the day and taking breaks to cool down will help prevent any heat related illnesses. Now something else to look out for in this warm, sunny summer weather is extreme sunburns or sun poisoning. I actually spoke to a nurse practitioner who just experienced this painful burn and I'll have her warning to the public tonight on Way 31 News at 5. Reporting live in Huntsville, Nicole Zedek, Way 31 News.